A New Jersey family is devastated after their dog Samson died during a visit to the groomers. Well, now they want answers, and their community is rallying behind them. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Yates has the story from Mawa. Catch, catch. Go get it. <laughs> Woo, nice. He was just this huge, adorable, what? like just a big love ball. Samson was just five years old, a best buddy at home in Chester, and his loving family, the Laddies. Jennifer Laddie says she took him to this groomer, Glamour Paws Boutique on Franklin Turnpike in Mawa. When she dropped him off, it would be the last time she saw Samson healthy before vets at an emergency animal hospital had to euthanize him. What happened behind these doors? So the owner came out and said, oh, your dog was hot. We just put him out here to cool him off. You know, we put him in front of a vent and, you know, and we were giving him some water. I called him again and he tried to get up and his back legs gave out. She frantically called her husband. I found a towel laying pretty close to him and I used the towel to kind of hoist his back legs up. The laddies took Samson to the vet. Uh, took his temperature, which was 109.5 at that moment. Immediately they had said heat stroke. You know, Newfies have um, two coats and you have to dry them um, with either cool air or towel dry them, but you shouldn't be using heat on them. They basically told us that, uh, you know, his organs were shutting down. The laddies had to let Samson go. We called and went to Glamour Paws Boutique. They saw us at the door, and as we looked in again, someone closed the top blue door. The laddies are now joining an effort in the state calling for dog groomers to be licensed, started by Rosemary Marchetto, whose dog died eight years ago at a grooming shop. The people who are grooming your dog are, are not licensed. The reason why they're not licensed, a license doesn't exist. The laddies are seeing an outpouring of support on social media and a protest is planned for Saturday morning from 9 in the morning till 11 outside Glamour Paws Boutique. In Mawa, Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.